Brought to you by Wendy's. After 25 years, quality is still our recipe. Goodyear, number one in tires. Valvoline, people who know use Valvoline. And American Honda, who's been making quality cars in America for the past 11 years. Down below, they're still behind the pace car in a full course yellow. Arranged this way, Unser Jr., then Mario Andretti, then Paul Tracy, then Brian Herta, Emerson Fittipaldi. Nigel Mansell is in sixth position, uh, actually sitting behind the pace car. Fittipaldi is up just a bit on that. Let's go to Jackaroo. Well, we're with the man that participated in the first full course caution of the afternoon, Mike Groff. First of all, Mike, we know you're okay, but what was the condition of the car? What happened? Uh, the car was actually okay. We went into the tires, unfortunately. Now, that's not the way that we like to get on TV here, but um, uh, I think the Motorola car was poised for some good running today, but um, we had some problems with the brakes. I noticed it on the first turn. The front's locked up big time. And I went into turn three, and the car just went straight on. We carried on, and the car, uh, progressively, the brakes locked more and more. Now they can't even tow the car, so we had, a, we had a mechanical problem. At the driver's meeting this morning, they talked about some of the improvements here at Detroit namely runoff areas did that help you today no question about it i, I think uh the organizers of this race and car did a great job getting the tires up uh like i said it's not i, I hate to be the one talking about it but it's great that they're up uh we're going to look into what our problem was there and uh, we'll be back for portland well thanks for stopping by and let's check in with the man that was participating in the second full course caution he's with our own gary gerald right now gary jack that's dominic dobson and he made his way back across the racetrack dominic tell us what happened back there in that traffic situation well, the PacWest car had been running fairly well. You know, it's been a long weekend for us. We didn't qualify well. We'd moved up, but I believe I picked up some debris and punctured a rear tire. And the car was getting looser and looser, and I think it was going down. I just lost it here in turn one. And uh, I didn't contact too hard, but Zampedri was behind me. There was nowhere for him to go, and he ended up slamming into me. So, uh, unfortunately, put us both out. Sad way to end the day. Yeah, I know, and you said it had been tough to qualify. Last weekend, it was such a great qualifying effort. You were up there in the third row in Milwaukee. Yeah, we did. We had a great qualifying on the mile oval, and uh, I just want to thank my team. They worked very hard, and hopefully we can get uh, four good cars ready and uh, go to Portland next weekend. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Paul? All right, let's reset this a little bit for you. We're under our second full course caution of the day. This one when the man you just saw, Dominic Dobson, spun in front of Alessandro Zampedri. We're going to let you look through the entire field here, led behind the PPG pace car by Al Unser Jr., then Mario Andretti. 23 of the 28 cars that started are still on the same lap with the leader. And uh, although Nigel was the pole sitter here last year, he never led. He did lead the first laps here today, now sits back in sixth position. And Brian Herta, who started 18th, is now in fourth position. But neither Brian Herta nor Mario Andretti, who sits in second position, have stopped for their first pit stop of the day. So now we're beginning to see even more of the tactics play out here. Al Unser Jr., Mario Andretti, Paul Tracy, Brian Herta, and Emerson Fittipaldi are at the lead of the group behind the pace car in that order for the race. And there you see the rest of them, Villeneuve, Robbie Gordon, Teo Fabi, Mauricio Guzelmi. Of course, if Mario's plan is to come in just before the track goes back to green, it'll put him completely behind all these other cars in a very bad position. So my guess on Mario is, is that he's going to go on hope for another yellow flag. Some races, they just gamble on it. Sometimes they get them. It'd be a big gamble, though, Paul. We take a look at the race summary at the conclusion of 24 laps with uh, you know, more cars out here in the early going than we had in last week's run at Milwaukee, which was spectacular in terms of mechanical achievement as well as racing with only one car failing before the end of the run itself, though it was shortened by only nine laps. Now, as the pace car works its way off the track, they head for the green flag once again. Led by Al Hunter Jr., the green comes out. Mario Andretti is right behind him. 